Hi, yeah. I just thought I'd uh, make a quick video about uh, the FPV system, first person view system that I'm trying to put together for my Bixler uh, plane. Um, okay, what I've got here is I'm, gonna, I'm in the middle of putting together uh, the base station, which is going to be an old uh, metal case that I've found, um, an old, very old um, LCD screen. Um, I'm going to use for the actual view. I've got some video camera um, goggles as well, which seem to be fine. And uh, just want to run through what I've got so far. Okay, um, to do the conversion from the video to the screen, I've got one of these little video converters, which will also be powered by the 12 volt battery power supply uh, when I get the right connector. Okay, there's the old screen. I'll show you that in a second when it's live. This is an old um, golf trolley battery. I stole off my son. It runs 12 volt, 20 amp, um, and deep discharge, which is great, perfect for this sort of thing, and will go on for hours. Okay, those are the video goggles. This is the 5.8 gigahertz receiver um, that I got from Hobby King in uh, Hong Kong, and uh, these are the various connectors. There's two AV outputs and one power input. The power is currently connected to the battery. Okay, then on to the main unit itself. This is the cockpit sort of thing that I've made up for the Bixler, uh, which is currently stuck in a tree right now, so um, I've got to get that back out. This is a board camera that uh, I bought off the internet. It's a brilliant little camera, actually. It's 600 TV line, um, great um, resolution, really like it. Um, the stuff that I've got on here, this is a 7.4 volt LiPo, 2 cell LiPo, that I'm using to power the uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter which actually goes in the plane that's the bit that connects the um, uh, camera and the various telemetry issue things down to the receiver which is beyond the base station okay also I've got uh, a little uh, UBEC on here which regulates the 7.4 volts to 5 volts which is what the receiver or the transmitter requires um, in addition what I've got is the uh, main battery supply which is going to be a three cell uh, 2200 milliamp hour um, lipo 11.1 volt lipo will be used for powering the, the plane but it'll also be used for powering the ocd system or osd rather the on-screen display system from um, a company called Rem rembezi it's a great little system this actually it's a full on-screen display system which i'll show you in a second or two fully configurable uh, keyless chip as well. It's all connected um, currently, managed to connect all the cabling the right way around. That's the GPS device which if you follow around you normally plug in to that, that port there. Uh, it's not going to be plugged into this port at the moment because um, there is no GPS signal um, and uh, it interferes with the screen setup so um, that gets plugged in a little later on. No problems at the moment, it works, it's fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to power it up um, and show you what happens on the screen. Uh, you might see a little bit of uh, messing about now because I've only got one pair of hands, so I'm going to plug this in. Okay, we're up. Well, what's going to happen now, you'll see on the screen that it's trying to find the GPS uh, coordinates, which you won't find because it's not plugged in. Um, but you can, whilst we're waiting for that to actually go to a default mode, um, you can see the resolution on the screen is, is great. I mean, there's no problems with that at all. Really nice. So you should be able to see good, clear resolution of images and what have you. So um, whilst, whilst I'm flying. So hopefully we'll see this actually click over to default mode in, the mo in a moment and you'll see it come up with um, um, meters, I think, which just shows the uh, measurement. Um, that should click over any second. Well, hopefully it will. And then we'll go to the, the what will happen is you'll see the main screen come up, which is completely configurable. I've just got it set up for a minimum sort of amount of stuff on there at the moment. Um, but it allows you to use the um, programming system that allows you to then place all the different icons, different items, different elements on the screen whenever you want. So let's just run through a few of these that I've got on here, the most basic ones. This is the uh, velocity, uh, ground speed. This one is the um, uh, 
compass direction where we're actually where the degree is heading that we're going at at the moment. This is the meters to home, um, the home location, which is automatically set when the thing is set up. So it will actually already know its, its uh, current location and where it's going to come back to. This is the home screen. It will actually show an arrow here in the GPS is connected, which identifies way which direction is actually home. This is the altitude. This one is the um, degrees to go home, I think. Can't remember that one. This is the elapsed time since it's switched on. This one is going to be used a little later. This gives me the ISSI uh, feed um, percentages. It tells me how strong the signal is, the ground station signal, um, receiver, transmitter signal. This one is giving me the um, main litho voltage, which is live. And this is giving me the, the main video, um, which is the actual feed going to the transmitter, actually. Uh, that gives me that feed, which is very nice information to have. Also on here is the horizon. Um, and in addition to this, there'll be a number of other items on the screen, including full GPS positioning and what have you. It works very well indeed, very happy with it. Um, overall right now, it's all sort of configured, um, just a case of making sure it all sort of works. What I'm going to do now is actually uh, complete this ground station by getting some perspex and some bits and pieces and sort of tidy up the cabling and make sure all the power systems work. Um, put in a, um, a charging station in there as well. And uh, all things being well, it will pack up nice and it will actually work. So that's uh, hopefully in the next video, I don't know when it will be, I'll show the thing actually working uh, in a live situation. Okay, I hope that you found that useful and uh, speak to you soon. Cheers, mate. Bye.